Here we have uh, 21s up to 70s. This is a 23Z9. Bunch of those. This one here is a 25A6G. It's a 25D9. Twenty five BQ six, twenty five Z six, here's a twenty six LX six, it's a pretty tall one. Here's a couple of 22JR6s. Here's a 21LU8. There's a lot going on in that tube. <laughs> and over here we got a 23JS6. Twenty five CD six, twenty five CG three, twenty five CK three, very similar design, twenty two JF six. 29KQ6 22BH3 Looks like the other ones 25Z5 And here's a bunch of 25L6s this one's got the larger body design, but the rest don't. Same tube though. 25L6. All these are 25L6s. 25W4. A few of those. Here's a 36KD6. Two of those. Here's a third bunch of 35 L6s. Uh, 27 GB5. 24LQ6 A 38HE7 And what's this one? Let's look at the box it's a 31LQ6. And a 33GY7. And up here we get a bunch of uh, 35Z5s. Not too much going on in these ones. These are all 35Z5s. This fella here, a 35Z4, so slightly different. 
And up here we got the 50A5. So the filament in this one would be like about 50 volts. A bunch of 50L6s. That's a 50L6GT. All 50L6s. And finally a 70L7GT. So the filament in this tube would be about 70 volts. Pretty high. So that'll do it for the 20s up to the 70s. Alright, and here we got some tubes that just don't really fall into any other category. A lot of these will start with letters or just, they just don't fit in with anything else. So starting off we got a couple of, uh, I should say three, either OZ4 or zero is at four. I don't know which. We got a CV1933. A VT250, EF50. Like this little fella, it's quite heavy. And the only numbers on it Is that so anyone can tell me what this little fella is I'd like to know the numbers look like there it's s5207 then we got a TM 200 and again this is quite heavy and another thing I don't know what it is if anyone can tell me I'd love to know SK3756832 I would guess it's some kind of adapter for something but I just can't figure out what it would you know be adapting something to then we got a couple of these again I don't know what these are the only numbers on them is MM-86892-9 other than that it's blank and this one's even worse. This one's got less information on it. All it has is TU83. And here we got a, a ballast, a K80-B. A JFD, adjustable AC-DC ballast, type B. And here we got some more ballasts, a 3 a 10. Don't know if you can see the filaments in that or not. They're very tiny. You'll see them between that, that there and down to that one. Next we got an OM-4. Pair of uh, VR55, six, probably 6.3 volt. VR101. A GZ37. It's a very tall tube. And a GZ33. They look very, very similar. A GZ34. And here's a CX301A. Can't even see inside that. couple more ballasts. This is a 10-4C. Uh, these are all 3-4s. Again, same thing. Some more ballasts. 2A12. That one there is a 6-4. 
And we got these two here, an NR41. They have a very, very odd pin layout. I have no way of testing these ones. Then we got uh, more relays. These, uh, uh, let's see, 115N010. These are a bit different than the other ones. The filament's right there. What it, what it is, it's a, it's a uh, what do you call it? It's a relay, but it's got a delay. So when that coil heats up, it makes the makes that uh, bar move, and we and it makes contact. So you can see the points up in there. Kind of neat. Uh, here we got some OC3 slash VR105s. An OD3. Here's a big one. Again, another weird pin layout. A CV73. There's a lot going on in this one. And this is what I call the bunny ears. <laughs> it's the only one I have that's got the two uh, the two tops on it. It's an E11. Four eight. Very interesting. I haven't powered it up yet. And we got a bunch of three EH7s, same as the other ones. A six N zero six zero. Again, another uh, delay relay. Um. TJ601K01 again it's uh, um, a ballast or a relay it looks like a bulb there is a filament there but it actually controls um, DC current I believe same with these guys up here 6H-6 then we got these boxes here, which is this HP 45B. These are rather interesting. They got that extra thing at the bottom there. I don't know what it is. It's got a very interesting layout in it. And then we got this big fella here, a PL 4D21. It's a big fat one, too. This has to be forced air cooled, otherwise it will overheat. That's why it's got the metal base with the holes in it. I've not powered it up yet, but it, it's pretty cool looking inside. New 2-3-66, 1966. Very neat. So that does it for the odd ones. Next I'll do some unknown ones. Ones that have the writing just rubbed off. Maybe uh, any of you that are familiar with tubes might be able to uh, help me identify some of them.